If you ever wanted to take a CSV from a website and take it into Google Drive, we're gonna show you how to do just that inside of Shipyard in just under five minutes. Let's dive in. So jumping into our fleet builder here, uh, we're gonna start with adding our HTTP blueprint. Uh, so I can search for that. And we wanna download a file from URL. I'm gonna click that, which is gonna create a vessel for us over here inside of the fleet builder. Um, I'm just gonna keep this uh, HTTP download file from URL. Uh, that's a fine name for that. Um, and so the URL we're gonna download from is um, this slinky dog CSV. So this is just a CSV from this touring plans website. This would work from a CSV from any website. Uh, the specific, a good, a, a good business use case for this might be grabbing something from GitHub and taking it into Google drive. Uh, but then we can name this file. We're going to name it slinky dog dash dot CSV. Um, so that's, that's all we need. To, that's all we need to download this file from a URL. So now we can do our Google drive blueprints. Uh, so search for those Google drive, and then we want to upload this file. Uh, so again, clicking that, uh, close the authorization there. We're going to connect those together, uh, get rid of the numbers there. So Google Drive upload files. Um, so that local file name is the uh, slinky dog dash dot CSV that we named it before. So I can copy, paste that in. Um, we want that to be an exact match. We didn't put it in a folder. We're not putting it in a shared drive name, um, but we are putting it in a Google Drive folder. So important to note that if you do not put it in a Google Drive folder, uh, it won't it won't come through on the API. Um, so it's something that we're trying to talk with uh, Google to try to get figured out. But that's definitely something that's there right now. Um, and we'll keep it the same name. You could rename it if you wanted to. And then the last thing you need is a service account. And I can use my credential, use the credential management here, Google Drive, my demo creds, and it's going to fill that in for us. Um, so last the last thing we want to do is name our fleet. So we're going to name this HTTP to Google Drive. Okay, and you also have notifications there for the fleet. We have those for each vessel as well. So if this does go wrong, uh, it'll send us an email letting us know that's happened. Uh, so we wanna go ahead and click save and finish here. Uh, so this is gonna take us to a page telling us that the fleet has been created successfully, as you see here. Um, and then we wanna click run your fleet. Um, so this is gonna take us into uh, the, the, the fleet log page here inside of Shipyard. Um, so anytime you click a start an on-demand run by clicking the green button up here on the top right-hand corner, it's going to take you to this fleet log page, which is going to show you kind of a vessel by vessel output um, of what's happening inside of this um, in, inside of this fleet run. Um, so and so we're going to see this in a Gantt chart in the middle of the page here. And then we're also going to see that in the table down here as well. You can see that those are already lined up here. Um, but a couple other things to note while we're waiting for this to start running. Um, we also have our triggers, our triggers tab up here on the top as well. Um, so this triggers tab that's going to allow you to schedule this to run. Um, so you can schedule it, uh, you know, to run it daily, weekly, hourly, you know, whenever, however often uh, you want to set that to run, you can set it to run on the schedule. Uh, and then we also have a webhook uh, trigger as well. So you can kick this thing off programmatically. Um, we also have webhook parameters that you can use as well. Uh, so for, for an example, something like this, you could set up a fleet to run the HTTP download into Google Drive. Um, and then have that webhook parameter sent in with that actual website. So that can be what, what that's what's sent into Google Drive. So you don't have to create multiple fleets. You can just create one uh, to get this job done and continue to send stuff through it. Um, and last thing to mention is we have our version control tab over here on the right side as well. Um, so every time we click save in the bottom right hand corner of our fleet page, uh, that's going to create a new version that you can always revert back to or create another fleet from that old version as well. Um, so you can see inside of our uh, fleet log here, you can see that our HTTP download file from URL is already completed. I can click inside of that and look at the Python output. Um, so you can see the variables that we set uh, using those inputs earlier. So there's our URL, there's our file name. Um, and you can see that it successfully downloaded that to slinky dog dash dot CSV and it downloaded uh, 4.932212 megabytes of data. So it's always good to have there just so you know that it, you know, it is actually downloading the data. And it's not just going to the website and downloading, you know, the, you know, just the web, the website contents or something like that. Um, so now that that one's finished, we're going to wait for the second vessel to kick off, which is uploading uh, to Google, Google Drive. Um, so we'll give it just a moment and wait for that to kick off. OK, so we can see our Google Drive upload files has kicked off. Um, so you can see that it just finished. Um, so now I should be able to go into Google Drive and see that file. You can see there it is, syncydogdash.csv. Um, you can see it's at 4.7 megabytes that we saw from earlier. Um, so in this video, we discussed how you can download a file from a, uh, from a website and then take it and then upload it into a Google Drive. If you have any questions about this solution or how you can use Shipyard in your organization, use the link in the description to set up a time to chat with our team of data experts. If you want to see more tutorials like this one, check out these related videos.